Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure Google Kubernetes Engine Cluster Access for kubectl. In the last video we created a zonal cluster. We deployed it. We set the node properties, image, size, boot disk and everything else. But now how do we interact with that cluster? So we'll configure the cluster access for kubectl wherein we can interact with the cluster and do our operations. So let me just quickly log on to the GCP console and take it from there. So my cluster is deployed. If you will click on it, you will see different properties that you selected under Kubernetes engine in the GCP console. This is how we deployed it. You can connect to it, you can duplicate it. So let's see what happens when I click on connect. So it says they say uh, that you can connect to your cluster via command line or using a dashboard. Configure kubectl commands line access by running the following command run in cloud shell or open workable dashboard. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to run it in cloud shell. So this cloud shell is the cloud shell that is hosted in the GCP. If you remember that cloud shell is also available in different other clouds as well that that is Azure or AWS. I'm not using any other cloud uh, other than Azure and AWS and GCP. So if you get a chance to work in Alibaba Cloud or IBM Cloud or Oracle Cloud, you would see, you might see that they also have Cloud Shell as well. So this Cloud Shell is for GCP. I'm going to click on Continue. Cloud Shell is free for all the users. So it will provision the Google Cloud Shell machine for me to interact with the the cluster, the Kubernetes cluster that we have created. So it'll take few seconds. It's provisioning my Google Cloud Shell machine on which I would run these commands. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. All right, so it is done. It says it is my user ID, this one, and uh, G Cloud Container Cluster Get Credentials. This is the name of my cluster, test cluster 1, right? The zone is US East 1B, US East 1B. Project is... Mm -hmm. This one, so if I hit enter, G Cloud is requesting your credentials to make a GCP API call. Click to authorize this and future calls that require your credentials. I click on authorize. Okay, now I'm connected. Cube config entry generated for test cluster one. I'm connected to my cloud shell. Now after that, I'm connected to my cluster. So if you run multiple cluster within your Google Cloud project, we need to choose which cluster talks to the kubectl talks to so we can set the default cluster for kubectl by setting the current context in kubernetes uh, uh, kube config file additionally i can run kubectl commands against a specific cluster using the dash dash cluster flag and you can use uh, you can set up default g cloud settings using one of the following methods either you can use gcloud init if you want to be walked through setting default if you want you can use gcloud config as well and if you want to see your uh, the kubernetes configuration file so kubernetes uses a yaml file called kubeconfig to store cluster authentication information for kubectl kubeconfig contains a list of context to which kubectl refers when running the commands. So by default, the file is saved at home directory under kubeconfig folder. And when you create a cluster using gcloud container clusters, create an entry is automatically added to the kubeconfig. So if you want to view the current context for your kubectl so you can type in kubectl config i'm sorry kubectl config current context i'm sorry context here 
so it, this is the project this is the region and this is my test cluster one right and to view the environment cube config you can run cube ctl config view so it is your configuration file this one token key config uh, the region in the master file right and if you want to generate a cube config entry you can use gcloud container cluster get credentials cluster name you can set a default cluster for kubectl commands and you can troubleshoot gcloud uh, sorry the container cluster issues using kubectl so there's a uh, lot of things you can do using kubectl you can uh, I, I will try to make a cheat sheet of my cube seat of the cube ctl commands that is will be done later because cube ctl many parameters cube ctl apply you know creating objects uh, viewing and finding the resources so if you would you want to you know run basic cube ctl get uh, nodes or pods you know let's see kubectl get nodes you see we have a two node cluster here this one and if you want to see uh, kubectl get services so there is only a default kubernetes service running with an external ip of 10.52.0.1 sorry the cluster ip so the cluster ip service is running so if you want to use kubectl get pods so there is no resource found in the namespace so you can use kubectl get namespaces oh i'm sorry namespace so these are the default names it's default cube node lease cube public cube system I don't see the code DNS or cube DNS, but that you be another service, right? So what I'll do, I will create few more uh, labs of GKE cluster, right? Private, zonal, alpha, and then we'll try to make a project out of this. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.